There's a line in a well-known poem that says, what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. In the case of Erica Parsons, that time between the dates is said to have been a living hell. Uh, she was uh, just abused royally in life, but she's going to go out a queen. Brent Lyerly owns Lyerly Funeral Home and has donated his services to provide a funeral for Erica Parsons whenever that time may come. Uh, but this community fell in love with her and wanted the very best and now she's going to receive that on earth. Missing for a year and a half before anyone even reported it, Erica Parsons was the face on the posters and billboards listed as missing. Her adoptive parents are in federal prison for stealing money meant for her. And in their federal fraud trials, shocking allegations of abuse were detailed, but no one's been charged yet in her disappearance or death. Right where that dirt is right there. In October, her remains were found in a shallow grave in South Carolina. Plans have been made for a funeral, but also for a way for that death to have not been in vain. It's really helped with awareness. People realize that we do have cases like these and so many child abuse cases in this county and that people have wanted to reach out and do whatever they could to help and that's wonderful. The gravesite is under a tree in a quiet spot at West Lawn Memorial Park and for now there's nothing there. But at some point there will be. Brent Lyerly says it will only be what's left of an earthly body. Erica Parsons won't be there. But she's in heaven. She's with the Lord. She's perfect. She is not hurting at all. And I think this community needs to, to realize that and to know that and to uh, really have some type of closure.